play that we just played, I, I, had, I had a recording on my side, so it'll it'll actually be in the show. And then Perfect. I put a link to it in the show as well. But go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, no, I was gonna say let let's make sure we put a link in there so so listeners have have or have I can't even talk tonight. I'm so so upset about about, about my <laughs> broken utopia. utopia. Anyway, that's another story we'll talk about 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 that later. Let's get back back to the message at hand here. Um, First time, geek enthusiasts and lovers of the plastic crack. This is your safe space, free from safety. So put your hands on some plastic. It's time for toy tea time. Earlier this week, for anyone who's um, buried under a pit of rocks or something, I don't know, um, there were a series of killings. Um, Police on civilian, and um, that st- started off uh, earlier this week. There were two, and then um, the following, following those, there were uh, several police officers that were killed, as well as um, additional officers injured and civilians injured. And uh, Tyler brought it to my attention that some of those officers that were just injured um, have actually passed from their um, their uh, their wounds and stuff, so or their injuries. So, uh, needless to say, this this uh, sparked a uh, ridiculous, ridiculously um, high tension uh, throughout the United States, through uh, nationally as well as Minnesota and Baton Rouge and, and such. Um, I, I've said already that it affected me to the point that I was so frustrated um, on, I believe it was uh, Thursday morning, that I actually had to uh, reach out to some of my friends. Who are you? Guys? Who are you? And and Adam and talk to you guys, and, and it really helped me out to. Um, to not be so upset, and then the, the sad part is, after I went through my thing, um, Adam, a friend of ours, kind of went through a thing as well, um, and I, I wouldn't doubt that he's still going through a thing in light of recent events, um, without speaking too much much on his personal uh, situation, but it, n- nonetheless, it's, it's affected everybody, it's affected a lot of people, and, and we don't want to talk about the details of what happened, we don't want to get into that, not that it's not important, it's just that the the information is out there for everyone to see what we want to talk about and what we want to dive into is um the behavior the reactions the 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 climate that we're seeing online and social media the media the news just just those things that are affecting us and then actually showing how we are affected um by this and some of the behavior that we're seeing and um have you seen that much positive stuff i think no one pays attention to it um and we kind of just overlook it because i think some of us are have gotten to the point where we look for either the negative stuff or the dueling points or we just want to stay away from. But you see a lot of people saying, um, let, let's just, I, I think that, you know, it's wrong on all sides. We need to communicate more. We need to understand more. Why can't we just get past this? That kind of stuff. I just, well, I don't even know if we necessarily should pass it. I just think it's few and far between. I mean, at least in my feed, like the stuff I'm seeing, like, there's there's a lot of hatred. There's a lot of vile. There's a lot of venom. There's a lot of name calling. There's a lot of blame, you know, blaming. And when it comes down to it, man, these two gentlemen ultimately lost their lives this week. Their families' lives are shattered and in pieces. And obviously, if you've watched the videos, the police officers who were involved, the totality of it. You know, once it happened, and it's one of those things you're, I, and I understand adrenaline's pumping, like you're caught up in the moment, like, you know, and I, and I know, you know, how it is to be. Obviously, I've never, I've, I'm, I'm not a police officer. I'm not going to claim to be a police officer. I've never received any type of police academy training, but I understand what, it, what it's like to be in a high stress situation, and you don't always make the best call. But the thing is, is like, I am not in that officer's shoes. I am not in that victim's shoes. All I know is at the end of the day, the victim's lives are ruined. His family's are ruined. The cop is, you know, he's probably going through his own set of emotions right now. He's probably, you know, where he's looking at it, he just took somebody's life. Like, I don't know what that feels like to do that. 
I hope I never have that feeling, but I think there's remorse on both sides of, of the situation. It's not one or the other. Yeah, I think I think it comes down to a lot of everything that we see is, is based in one. Like 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 you said before, um, like you were saying most of this week, uh, everything everything is coming down to a one or the other. Yes, you are you're with me or you're against me. No matter no. which side you fall on, it seems like we kind of look for it. We're looking for it. we're looking for the for the debate. We're looking for the argument, and and, and with because because we, we want to push our own personal point. Or whatever, whatever the point is that we've adopted, we want to push that. I feel like a lot of a lot of times we're looking for it. And I'm not talking about. This is not. Uh, I'm, I'm not even drawing a parallel or even talking about. Are you looking for racism or are you looking for a person's anti-cop? Or I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about in general. Like even, like even within like in the collector realm. Okay, so you know we call it trolling. When you're going through, you're looking for someone who made a point so you can clash with him and tell him, nah, hi, your Devastator sucks because Hasbro Devastator is better or whatever the case is, right? I feel like on, on social media, people are, are trolling posts. Like you, you actually see it. People are trolling posts looking for a person who is saying something that they, that they disagree with and so they can splash that post with all kinds of comments. And we've all posted numerous things throughout the course of this last week, I'm pretty sure. And you and I guarantee if you go back and you look at it and you see who's made comments in there, right? The person who's got response, I guarantee you, in most cases of these posts is the person that is completely on the opposite table of, of whatever your post is or the post that you're that you're in. Whereas you see the people in the middle who is who are saying things like, None of this matters, race doesn't matter, you know, we're all the same and all that's the, the the positive things that we want to look for. We say we want that we want. I, I I guarantee you most people don't get response. They don't they don't get people replying to their comment with multiple comments replied to them as they say that. But the guy who says, "Oh, uh, fuck all cops," or or he shouldn't have been there, he should do what the cops said do. Those two opinions, I guarantee you, they get tons and tons. And and I know for myself, I, I reached a point where I had this, where I had to like stop myself from commenting on shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna get involved. I'm not gonna do this anymore. Um, did you, you get to watch that video, dude? Uh, I have not watched it. Well, I sent you a thing. Like, it hadn't come through yet. Like, ah, uh, you know what? I think I, I sent you the link for the website for the. For the actual uh, news site instead of the. I where it's not on the Facebook Messenger. I sent it in the Facebook. Oh, I might send it to the wrong person. Oh. Or that, or did you put it in the show one or in my personal one? Uh, uh, I see right now. I don't see it in either one. It is in your. It didn't go through. There you go. It didn't go through. I wonder why it's not going through. Is that the Illuminati stopping it? Maybe. Right, here's the uh, the video. We could actually do like a little. Oh. A little live airing because this shit's funny as fuck, dude. National Edge following the days of protest. Yeah. Wait, wait, what? Well, no, that that's the ticker on the bottom of, of the oh, link. It okay. says Nation on Edge following days of protest. And then the the quote underneath it is Hillary or Harry who I don't know, you know how you say that. Hook. Hook. That's a that's a that's a deluxe right there. Hook. Uh or Ren what what was Ren's name from Ren, Ren and Sippy? Hoick? Ren Hoick? Who? Hoick? Uh, says blacks are prone to criminality. Oh, this my. This guy, dude, he starts talking. <sighs> and it's like, did he just say, like, I was taking notes at first, but then he was he was dropping so many, so many tidbits that I was like, <laughs> there's no point in, in writing anything else anymore because I would fucking get writers, I would get, like, writer's cramp or some shit. Yeah. Dude, how, how you gonna start it without me, dude? I'm trying to start it. I'm, li- I'm, li- I'm listening to it right now. Okay, I'm listening to it too. The side effect that we're not blaming individual officers. I'm, we're talking about a system that's dysfunctional. So how do we switch the system? Part of that is changing the laws. Part of that is creating a mechanism of oversight so that, for example, when a police officer does do something bad, we have a space to seek to not have other police investigate that, but instead, the civilian review board, the citizen review boards, these types of things actually give us the kind of transparency that we need. How real? Is it that if you were on the job and you knew a guy was dirty, you would be worried about coming forward because what if it's not, you know, a clean situation? What if it comes back on you? You know, you need your brothers and sisters uh, within the force to support yourself. Well, it's an issue, but there is a, there, when I was in the term affairs, we had this thing that was called the action desk. But believe it or not, I think about over half the calls we got were from other police officers, making allegations on police officers doing bad things on the street. But, but let's say, Mr. Chris, this isn't a one-sided argument here, okay? We're talking about three different things here, all, all about the police department, 
But facts have got to matter. If we want to make some changes here on what's going on, the police have already recognized the fact that we have some issues that we've got to deal with, all right? Now the black community has got to also understand that they have issues that they have to deal with. No. What happened there, okay? Especially what happened in Minneapolis. Right? The investigation is still going on, but to come out with the rhetoric that the police officers were racist when there's no evidence to indicate that racism was involved that has got has got to stop. All right. If that doesn't stop, and this thing about the, the disparity of blacks and whites in jails, that's got to stop because I got statistics right here which will prove me white in New York City alone. Okay. Blacks are twenty three percent, they make up seventy five right, percent the population. Seventy five percent of all shootings, seventy percent of all robberies, and sixty percent of all violent crimes. All right? Race only three percent. Now, that is why there were more blacks in jail than there are whites. So that's, okay? okay. And now now we just finish here and then and then go, right? So we look at that statistic, all right, they turn it around, you know, the racial demagogues out there turn it around that the blacks are being picked on. It's not so. So the facts and these statistics all right, have to be addressed and you've right. got to understand them. But both can be true, right? Both can be true. You wind up dealing with the community more because of socioeconomics and criminality, but the question still remains, Mark, of how you deal with that community. Right. But can I respond to Harry? Please. Okay. So please. And I'm coming to you. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple things there. First, Harry talked about the idea of people immediately second-guessing the police. The police should be second guessed. They're public servants and we're the public. We because should be second guessed. Not been. Sometimes, at this point, police are frustrated when you say, when you don't take their word as gospel right away. And with camera phone technology, increased witness technology, we see that they're not always telling the truth. Now, to the entire second point, which is that in Ferguson, we immediately jumped up and said, this is racism without any evidence of racism. We did an investigation in the Ferguson Police Department. I talked about this in my new book. And there is considerable evidence of racism in Ferguson. So it, it isn't true that, that, that there was no evidence of racism. There were racist emails, racist phone calls, racist practices. He's Ferguson. saying in the couple incidents. No, no, no. Let me finish. There were three emails, I believe, that oh, were uh, racist. Hold right. on. But Harry, there's only 40 emails. Harry, there's only like 100. It doesn't matter. But Harry, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, guys, how many still on national TV and just say the black people are prone to criminality? I wouldn't have a response to that. Well, they are. But you think black people are prone to criminality? The statistics in the show. You don't mean to say that. I'm going to give you a chance to correct that. You don't mean that black people are prone to criminality. What does this say? I don't know what that says, but I know what I think. The chief can back me up because he's coming out. He's not going to stand there and give you a black people are prone to criminality. I am telling you. Second thing I have a slight difference with the black people. The second thing I have a slight difference with the black people. I what I said. I said 75 of the shootings that are in New York City are done by black. Right. And you keep on talking about this disproportionate amount of whites and blacks and jails. And this is white. No, it's not. It is, yeah, by the way. All right, guys, seriously. How about we don't yell? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to say. All right, okay. Conversation that is not always easy to have. We want to have flashes of perspective. But we all know this, all right? If you do not have this conversation the right way, you do not move forward. You can discuss the difference between entire race is prone to criminality, which I know is not what you mean, and that so I'm statistically, to statistically, I know, but that's but the, not what I mean. the way, and that's why I said, I, I know, you meant that, right, Mark, because that's racist, I know, but Mark, right, you right. Right. reference, I'd just like to put out to Harry, one, when you point to these racial demagogues, quote, unquote, racial demagogues, I think that you should take into consideration, a lot of times the media is, is flocking to a couple of individuals that may or may not be speaking for the African American community, the second thing is that, if you look at that incident that took place in Baltimore, it took a year before that video was released. And you had eleven. You had a plaintiff officers who had did not fire their weapons, but filed reports stating something other than the facts. That's what people are talking about. They're not talking about any specific instances. What they're saying is that government and law enforcement had the opportunity to clean up the injustices that have been taking place in the criminal justice system, the biases and the racism for a decade and decade. It has not happened, and those need to be addressed. It does not mean that. You know, a lot of them got a good cop. It doesn't mean that North Wales does not serve all communities well. It means that changes have to be made, talks have to be stopped, and acts need to be taken place. Okay, that's, that's the issue that we need to. Yes. Do you think that uh, police departments are systematically racist? 
I think that there's a lot of systemic racism. Well, I'll give you one example. I'll answer that question. Hey, hey, like, it means stop. everybody is. We know what it means. Wait, wait, I, I don't know. That's what it means. It does. No, it does not. You can't just make up words and define it. The systemic is not being held. Can I answer? I know. Got it. Why not? You have to. Okay, I'm all through each other. I would like to okay. yeah, let that person finish, and then we're going to continue this conversation another time. Go ahead, Chief. I think the intent of the racism that takes place in law enforcement is racially overstated, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. And one point example I will give you is this: is that in New York City Police Department, which I think would be the most valued company in this world, I'm a big, big supporter of it. We only stated that we stopped people with criminals to place where the crime took place at. So subsequently, you're going to have more stop for African American communities, right? But if you look at when we did our checkpoint, our vehicle checkpoint, we did it primarily in African American Latino communities, right? Now, is that saying that they drink more than, than others? So what happens is that, and when you present that data, then you say, well, hold on, maybe we are doing things that we're not intentionally aware of. And I think what, right. what protesters are saying is, let's all take a look because there are problems. Problem doesn't mean that you're all bad, it doesn't mean that you're all good. It means that the problems that have to be taken. We sit down and we kill a rhetoric. And we have some intelligent conversation. We can make a change for the better for all. Am I All right. So, uh, do you want to start from here? Yeah, I, think, I think I think this is a good pick, pick a point. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so to kind of put a little pretext into what we're going to be talking about here, uh, Mickey just shared a clip from CNN with me, uh, which is man. If everything we had talked about on the on the first half of this thing mm-hmm. was summed up in this video clip yes sir um man i mean do you want to go do you want to no, go, go first man, or, go ahead, or, man, or do you go want ahead. me to go first all, all right. right so uh first things first man just looking at people's body language mm-hmm. like and i, I want to go back and watch it again like without the audio mm-hmm. the uh obviously the police or he was there representing the the police i don't know what department or what um I don't even want to say jurisdiction. That's not the correct term. But I'll, I'll look in the uh, notes. What, I'll look in the, the video notes while you're talking. Whatever, uh, whatever police department or police entity he he's he's representing, um, he came in like his body language looked like he came in looking for a fight. Yeah. Like I don't know if it was just his frustration with the situation or with the the status that's going on in 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 the country mm. um but you could just tell like he was very very frustrated and um going by what he said like I don't think he realized what he said no he did not <laughs> saying did that not. saying that blacks are more prone to commit criminal acts uh just because they're black I was like wow yeah, I don't and then God damn it if he didn't say it. <laughs> well, and it, if you watch the other two guys on this panel, one of them, uh, I think he was, I, I think he represented the NYPD. Yeah. He just kind of like looked at him with a look <laughs> like, 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 what did you just say? And like then, nobody could believe that he just said that shit, dude. Yeah, well, and then and then the, the gentleman who was sitting in between them who so – so eloquently plugged his book in the middle of it. By the way, that yeah, was yeah. he's actually that got, was... he's actually got a show on CNN as well too. Um, okay. Crossfire. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Oh, I just put a racist ass move. I was about to say that's not the guy from Crossfire. <laughs> yeah, that's not the guy from Crossfire. That's um, that's the. Uh, I'm just gonna cut that part out. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, but no, like I think he tried to stop him multiple times. Like, dude, you do not mean what you just said. <laughs> and and like and it just kind of kept making that guy more angry the problem is is like yes the guy probably misspoke hopefully he's doesn't truly feel that way if he does i'm sorry like you're misjudging like an entire he's in a bubble part like an entire like culture in our country an entire people like that's not right like you like that's the epitome of racism like that like it's just you're taking one snapshot and the data he was quoting and oh man dude i i i Someone tried to give me the data lecture today. Like they played me this clip of the guy reading off the FBI statistics. Have Have you read that? I have seen. Uh, well, I've I've been hit with that in in multiple debates. I'm not sure if it's the same uh, clip or that you're talking about, but I've the been one, hit with that multiple. The debates. one saying that the African American population in the United States is like 16. Yeah. But they 
they account for like fifty four percent of all murders, and or that that, are, that point that that point fluctuates because it, it's it's a, it's a typical conservative point that's brought up whenever something like this happens, and um, it, it's not what well, I want to say conservative. I want to say that. Republicans and others who want to defend, like the police, who feel the need to defend the police, right, or, mm-hmm. or defend the situation, they'll they'll come out with those numbers, and they'll be like, uh, and, and it's but the averages actually come as far as those numbers go, and it's many times as I've heard it, because I've heard it so many times, the um the average the numbers average around as far as the percentage that Black people make up in the United States is more like thirteen to twelve percent, and then the number of crimes we're supposedly responsible for is seventy percent of all of all um violent crimes and i think uh gun related uh crimes uh, is around 70% is what they is what is what the argument is but i got an interesting point on that also but i don't want to derail what you're saying so please go ahead well no, no I, I i was just going to say like i kept having this that argument like mm-hmm. thrown thrown in my face but uh the gentleman the gentleman who's on the right like put it perfectly he was saying like look i under Understand you're quoting this data, but if we know that crime, like the majority of crime, takes place in this area or this neighborhood, Mm -hmm. they're going to put more patrols in that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So your data kind of becomes skewed because your pool that you're collecting the data from becomes much more focused. Yeah. Where, where yes, you can say, oh, seventy percent. I think you said it was seventy percent. Seventy percent of all violent and gun related crimes are committed by by black people. Well, look at the neighborhood you're in. Yeah. If the demographic is opposite, where the African American population accounts for seventy, eighty, ninety percent, and then every other demographic makes up the remaining 10 to 20 percent yeah your stat your statistic is going to go go way up yeah like like you're you know it, quote unquote you're fudging the numbers to get the result you want yeah 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 and that's i mean that's that's just it that, that's when 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 people to, when people refer to like institutionalized racism and systemic 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 i can't say it uh racism those are the things they're talking about you know what i'm saying it's not so much i i feel like a lot of times um people uh think that when you say racism or prejudice or or anything like that you you're mad you're, you're it automatically goes to well i ain't got no Ku Klux Klan costume in my closet you know what i'm saying and it's not always that and it's not always a charge of well i mean i mean person you know what i'm saying i mean that that's like swinging way to the extreme though like like i think i i <sighs> this don't say it bro this, got this, 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 this up. is all on topic no, no, sir hey, no, say no, it. This is the no 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 it's it's just i have so many things going through like we were just talking about the neighborhood and you're swinging you're swinging that pendulum from one end all the way to the extreme of the other with, with the Ku, Ku, Ku Klux Klan, that majority of you know they obviously eat, sleep, and breathe hate and racism, right? No, I, don't, I think you misheard me. No, what I, what I was saying is that sometimes when the allegation is made that okay, this is um systemic, this, I still can't get it out, dude. This, systemic. This this is uh, institutionalized racism is what I'm going to say, sir. That's, <laughs> that's the path I'm going to go with this conversation, right? Then, then then the person who, the people who hear that or the person who hears that on the other side automatically, I, I think their brain, when they when you hear racism, racist, prejudice, bigotry, right? I, I think that most people's minds automatically swing to uh, Ku Klux Klan, skinheads, slavery, hanging people. The, the, like you said, the most extreme example of 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 racism, right, and and, and prejudice um, um, entities, but it's not. That's not always the case. In, in most cases, especially during like the civil rights movement and and after after um, after freedom during like uh, Jim Crow and stuff like that, which is, came uh, obviously sometime after slaves were free. Obviously, right? I'm not stupid, but I'm saying that during that time frame and even after that, going up to this to this current time frame, you, you talk about. Uh, institutionalized racism and it's a thing whereas certain things are done the system is set up a certain way like when we had to talk about um and i don't want to go so far out because you're making an awesome point remember we was having a talk about the movie uh the the animation movie being made real with my favorite actress scarlett johansson mm-hmm. all right and we talked about well, okay the studio uh we that's a, huh? that's a that's a deep cut man <laughs> You don't That's like Scarlett like, Johansson, dude? No, 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 no. I'm saying, saying your reference point, man. That was like 20 episodes ago. But hey, yeah, my go mind, ahead. my mind is a fucking. Uh, what were we saying though? 
<laughs> uh, you were talking about the Scarlett Johansson. Yes, I love her. So, uh, Scarlett Johansson, right? Um, we were talking about how the studio picked her because she would be, uh, she would draw a wider, a wider audience versus some unknown um, um, Asian actress. Uh, in, in the studio's opinion, which is why they, mm-hmm. which is why they picked her, because Scarlett Johansson is, is, a, is a proven draw versus taking a chance on this at the third, right? Okay, so from a business perspective, it makes sense, right? But at the same time, at the same time, do you see how um, uh, uh, people on my side of the table, I shall sit on that side of the table, or, or better yet, on the uh, Chinese or Japanese side of the table, would be like, no, that's that's fucking racist. Because this is a, this is a, this is a, we're, we're whitewashing it right now. But so my, my, my ultimate point of what I'm saying is that business choices are made, right? And, and to serve the purpose of making money. But that doesn't mean that those choices that are being made aren't um, offensive to certain sectors of people. I guess that's the best way I could put it. You dig what I'm saying? So when we're talking about like institutionalized racism and how we and how we how we look at um, certain industries and how it applies, that's what I mean. Like, certain, it's not like the owner of the company, which very well could be, or the or the the chief of the police or whoever has got a fucking a Ku Klux Klan hood over his head and he's fucking like dancing naked in peanut butter with a Ku Klux Klan over rag over his head. It, it just you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's 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 more along the lines of okay, we're targeting this specific area. Because, yeah, that's where the crime is, but that's where we're going to target. That's where our attentions are. And guess what? You just all happen to be black. So depending on how you're looking at it, you know what I'm saying? You can kind of pull from that what you will. Yeah. People who I are mean, listening. That's, 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 my pers- that's my personal opinion. This, this I mean, is not Tyler's I, opinion. This is my opinion. Well, no. I mean, you're, you're literally just proving my points. It's the same thing. Like, mm-hmm. if you're targeting targeting a specific area, or like in in this video clip, he he referred to like a drunk driving checkpoint, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If if you're doing it in an area where where one race is the majority, yeah, if you stop twenty people and eighteen of them are white, mm-hmm. it doesn't mean that all white people are alcoholics. Right. It right, just right. just happens to mean eighteen out of the twenty people you stop happen to be white. Exactly. Yeah. So. I mean, like, I get that, and I, I, I get those stats, but going back to, like, institutionalized racism, like, even now, like, I think if you ask the majority of people, like, none of them would, like, self-identify and say, yes, I'm a racist. No one's going but, <laughs> but you, Except for racist. But, but you see it mm-hmm. in different things. Like, even, like, even, like, I see it, see it on the subway. Mm-hmm. You see somebody grab a purse a little little tighter, mm-hmm. or they move their bag to 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 the other side. You know what I mean? Like you see somebody and they cross the street. You you know what I mean? They go the opposite direction. Like and you see stuff like that. And I mean it's still out there, but it goes back to to what we were we were talking about earlier. It's just we have to get rid of these stereotypes. But do you think it's, we will? I just, I personally, I'm a pessimist. I don't, I don't think so. I don't know if we will. May probably not in our our lifetime. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't think that we will. Not until everybody's all extra multi culty and stuff. And then even, and this is just my personal opinion. And even then, it's always going to be some kind of uh, some kind, some kind of uh, stereotype, some kind of fucking way to, you know, there's always going to be something divi- divisive. But I, I don't think we're, I don't think that. <clears throat> I don't think that we have to go that far in the future, or even to that extent, because what we're talking about right now, with everything that, we, um, uh, with with the police, with the police being attacked, you know, what I'm saying the, the the killing of the young black men, even the killing of this young white man, that that that's like kind of being swept under the rug, and nobody's really talking about, except to use to prove their political point. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I think that the larger problem is. The, l- the larger problem is, and the larger argument is, that it should not be okay for uh, government employees, um, you know, government employees to uh, to execute to execute citizens. Right now, it becomes a, it becomes a larger problem for me personally because we're talking about we're specifically talking about in this instance um black citizens and then and then african americans on for the for the larger portion do believe that no one really wants to hear the shit no one really cares because we're talking about these guys specifically which is my guys you know what i'm saying but you you and you hear people say but once um, it starts happening to everybody, which it is actually, because there are numbers, numbers of fucking police brutality cases throughout the United States. You know what I'm saying? But I, I feel like people, I feel like 
the the point is that if people cared about the cared about black people making this point as Americans, not black people, you know what I'm saying? Things would look uh-huh. different as far as what you see on the other side. Because the guy who shot the young white guy, even though even though they're saying people are using the point of, well, where's the rage for this? As far as I, from what I've read, that motherfucking cop has already been dealt with. You see what I'm saying? Even though this, I think this happened a while back, still, but he's already been uh-huh. dealt with. And then the, the 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 problem is that on the other side of the table, and it's not just blacks. We're talking about minorities in general, especially Hispanics and blacks. The problem is that um, these officers, in most cases, get off or don't even face charges. And, and and it's not just pointing at a Eric Gardner. It's not just pointing at you know at at, at the last few hot numbers or, or last few hot headlines. You're talking about going back in, in history on it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, fucking Mark Furman is a star on on fucking um, Fox News. You know <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's that. I think that's the the boiling point for that particular perspective. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's no accountability. Well, and and that and that's a th- like ah, that's a whole nother com. Like when you start getting into government employees, then like this isn't even just talking about the police department, but it just you know there's always those those jokes, and those stereotypes. It's like oh yeah, you got to get got to go work for the government because you'll never get fired. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, but ain't that the case though? Uh, yeah, and I mean it, it's just another one of those stereotypes where government employees are lazy, this, that, and the other. But I, don't think I mean, that's what a the case, but yeah. Well, I don't. I don't think it is either. But I mean, it's it's just one of those stereotypes. Like I have family who actually, I have a brother who works for the government right now, and I, and I know that's not the case. But it's just it's another one of these stereotypes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. And it and it's and it's just I I don't know. And this is the thing, man. Like I don't know what has got to change, but I but I do know like it needs to change. Yeah. I don't know what it's got. I don't know what it's got to look like. But I know it needs to change. I don't know if it's public oversight committees. Like I don't know know if that is really the answer. Yeah. Or you know, or if it's a combination between an internals team with the police department, or if it's a you know partnered with a oversight committee. Like I don't know what it is. I I know that if the if the shooting occurred in your in your police department, and speak speaking in general, right? I don't think mm-hmm. that I don't think that. Uh, I don't think that people that are close to that department or close or close to that office should be investigating. You know what I'm saying? I think that's one of the major things. It should. I think it should always be an outside an outside uh, group. I, I don't think it should be an internal group. And in so many cases, it's an internal group first. Now, this will be a good a good um, a, a good point to have someone who's familiar with the with the rules as it applies to this on. But we want to we want to control the conversation, guys. We don't want it to go out of control. So, <laughs> but yeah. um, yeah. So I, I think I think that's one of the major steps. But I, I think I think the first I think the first step, the very first step, that that would be necessary for um, any of this to change. The outrage, all of this shit, is for people to view these victims as Americans. You know what I'm saying? And not and, well, not, and not and not you know, black guy got un- unarmed, black guy got shot. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here we go again. Or young white guy got shot, where's the rage? You know what I'm saying? Because that's where, that's how it goes. Yeah. It's on the extremes well, again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I I was going to say, there was a there was a Hispanic guy killed over the weekend by, by, by police and I have people that are like, where's the outrage for this? Where's the outcry for this? And it's just, I, I don't know. I can't tell you where it is. I, I will say this. I, I've seen that post so many times. Not that post, not that, not that specific post, but some similar, right? Yeah, yeah. And and let me. And I have an answer for that. I do have an answer for that. Okay. So when you ask where is the outrage, first and foremost, first and foremost, if you're using the death of a fellow American, right, to combat or to debate the validity of of these young black guys who got killed or whatever the case is, you're fucking wrong already because these are all American lives. First and foremost, these are all American lives. These are all American citizens that have been killed by government employees. That's the very first and foremost. When you ask, where's the rage? The fucking rage is out there fucking uh, uh, revolting 
You know what I'm saying? Blocking intersections, holding up signs. They may not look all of the all of the people that are holding the signs may not look like you or your particular victim at that time, but that is the rage. That is the rage. The people who are posting online, that is the rage. And 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 finally, if that is an issue that you feel is serious, so let's just say you are a young Hispanic guy, right? And you and you're upset because no one seems to care about the Hispanic people getting killed, but or in your opinion, no one seems to care. But you have um, all the news media caring about the black guy who got killed, and you're saying, where is the rage? The the first answer is in you, and it starts with you. So what are you going to do from there? Where, where are you going to go and look for others who feel the way you look? Are you going to go out and, and search for sources and resources that, that, that cover what you're talking about or your specific plight? You see what I'm saying? Because if you really care, then that's what you do. You know what I'm saying? If you if you just want to make a point because you want to debate this, then you don't really care no fucking way. And you just, you're just contributing to the problem. So now there's, there's, there's a person who wants to combat your response so now and then somebody wants to combat that response and now we're back on that fucking merry-go-round you know what i'm saying that's just my feelings on it though yep well and it it, it it's funny now because now it's like did you read that there was a uh somebody a young boy who died because he was on his way to to the hospital what? and these protests blocking blocking the the, the freeway uh, they didn't get him to the hospital in time, and he died. No, I didn't. I didn't know about that. He was on his way to go. Yeah. So now all these people are like calling, charging for the for the or or the organizers of the protest to be charged with manslaughter. Oh my god! And it's just like, really? yeah. And it it's 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 just one of these things. It's like nobody likes the law mm-hmm. until it becomes like a weapon. Yeah. Or, or, <laughs> A weapon that I can use against you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then there, there, there's all these people that are like, oh, well, let's just take all the cops off the street for 24 hours and then we'll see what it really looks like yeah. and then we'll see how fast you'll come begging back to us. And I'm like, that's not the right attitude either. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't think going to go to the going to the extreme in either way, going from having zero police or to, you know, you got people now that are like, oh, we need to. You know all these people down in Texas that are like almost champ or champing that it goes to like a police state. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, those nobody crazy. wants that. Yeah, you don't need crazy. to call in the National Guard. You're out of your mind. Did you see the thing? So, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Continue. No, I, I was just gonna. That's nuts. Like it's just again, it goes back to the same thing. Like all we seem to hear and the only voices that get through are the crazy ones. Yeah. And nine out of ten times, that's what these it is. Strings. But that's the good. Yep, that's the these good extremes news. going. From one the, the, the other. Yeah, the fringe. That's the good news. That's the news that leads. That's what everybody wants to watch. Even the people, even the people who are complaining about it, they're tuning in for. You're, it. you're, you're lagging, son. Bad. Oh, on my side, it's good though. But can you hear me now? Oh, I just dropped. I just dropped. Uh, let me send you a message. Well, that's just that's that's just because yeah. Can you hear me? This shit sucks balls. You, you, you can hear you. Okay, I'm back. I'm back now. I just came up. I can literally see when I drop. Uh, <laughs> Yo. Okay. Tyler, you there? I think we got no, I, still. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. I got you perfectly. Okay. All right. No, I I was just gonna say, like again, it's just people seem to ex- swing from one end of the extreme to yeah. to the to the other. There was a. Did you see the thing? Um, I believe this is uh in in Texas uh as a matter in Dallas, uh where the poli- I believe it was the police chief. He was on Fox News. Um, the night prior, when when everything was going down, he, after everything went down with the um, with the with the, the the assassin or sniper or whatever you want to call him, the gunman or whatever, right? And um, he mm-hmm. was talk, he was making the comments about people being hip, hypocritical because they were just out there um, protesting against us. Now they want us to come out there and defend them and blah 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 blah. Did you see that? Yeah, well, I I didn't see that 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 thing, but I I saw people that are like, oh, they all want to protest the police, but as soon as all the shooting starts, they all ran behind the police and wanted them to 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 protect them. Yeah, it's like I'm like, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm like, no, I was gonna say, dude, that's like that's a little kid move, like a like that's the natural behavior. 
You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And yes, they are supposed to protect you. That is their job. You know what I mean? It's what they sign up for, but they do it voluntarily. It's not like we draft our police force. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it takes a special kind of person to want to go into to go into to be a to be a police officer. You know what I mean? And yes, some people get into it for the wrong reasons. You know what I mean? But you could say that about any professional field. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, my, my thing on it is that um, it, it again goes to um, the way it, it gives insight into into the person who makes that comment, their, their perspective on it. Because if you if you perceive the not you, but I'm saying in general, if 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 these people, these, if these fringe idiots perceive um, the protesters as protesting against police or all police that's the first problem that's one of the first problems you know what I'm saying because again they're not protesting against all police or police because you better believe with all those people in the crowd you've got people in those crowds who have relatives who have friends who have boyfriends who've been helped who like you know what I'm saying they're protesting against police brutality which means they're protesting against the bad officers, individuals, you know what I'm saying, or the lack of oversight, you know what I'm saying? Yep. It, it's not. It's not the same. It's like what you were saying oh. the other day. It's not the same. One is not the other. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Well, and it's funny because you were you're kind of stealing my thunder for for one of the things I wanted to bring up, I'm but sorry. it fits. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I mean, it fits so well here, mm -hmm. and like that's the thing. Like they're not like very rarely do you ever hear them single out a single officer mm -hmm. you know what i mean and like and if they do it's usually because one reason or or, or another but like you don't it's not like they're out there pro pro protesting individuals you know what i mean like they're they're not like oh this person needs to go this person you know what i mean it's more of a like you said it's more of a protest of of system of the yeah. status quo yeah yeah and I, I just think that i think that people and and I, I feel like we're we're even speaking to the fringe, hoping to hoping to clear the fringes, clear some of that fucking dust off their glasses, so they can so they can see past their own fucking foolishness on on both sides. You know what I'm saying? I I I, I wish that people could see the reality of the situation. It's not uh, it's not a, a judgment of all police officers, dude. It's it's just simply not. It's not it, because um I was watching some shit today. As a matter of fact, um. This chick that's on Fox News, uh, t Tommy, you know what I'm talking about? No. Uh, she's hot. She's like 23 or some shit like that, right? What is she doing? Is this the blonde? Yeah. Is this the blonde girl? Yeah, yeah. all right. I yeah, she's talking. always, someone's always talking about her, right? So, um, she, okay, so a while back, she, you know, she had her deal about, uh, Beyonce and, uh, and the, um, Super Bowl show, whatever the case is, right? And, uh, so, so, uh, I know you're familiar with uh, Charlemagne the God between me and God and Bobby always talking about him in the chat, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I I've I've listened to his podcast before. Okay, so so she had Charlemagne on, and they were debating it, right? And um and apparently they get along because he's come back a few times after that. He might be tapping that, but uh, <laughs> but wow. uh, Charlemagne comes on and they're debating and going back and forth, and she's she's making the argument. She's making the argument that she's making the same argument that all cops aren't bad cops because of one cop, two cop, and that Black Lives Matter is uh, a movement that's against all cops instead of targeting or instead of dealing with the issue with this particular cop, blah, 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 right? And and then she makes the, and then she goes further and makes the, let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me sum it up. She generalizes, but she doesn't want to be, she doesn't want her, she doesn't want to be generalized on or against. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so Never. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so Charlemagne came back with the, with the point of, listen, what you're doing, what you're doing right now by saying all of Black Lives Matter is the new KKK, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> or or whatever, is the same thing that you are are criticizing, or you're saying that people are doing by saying by by critiquing cops and saying that cops should have oversight. Instead, you're saying that that these, that we're saying all cops are bad. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think that's just that's the problem across the board, man. I don't know how many times I can say it uh, before it gets old, you know, <laughs> but that is the problem ac across the board. Everybody wants to push their point and no one is, and, and everybody's on the fringe. I don't know. What, well, what, and, go ahead, and go ahead. nobody, nobody wants to listen. Nobody I mean, watch the video. Yeah. Yes. None of them are listening to each other. They're too busy yelling and screaming and talking over each other. Yeah. And 
we've come to a point like I just feel like we cannot have a civilized conversation anymore. Well, I will have to disagree with you, sir, because we are having that conversation, and me and uh, Adam have it all the time. Well, I mean, this is uh, this is us, and this is amongst friends, right? Yeah. Like, and I think we have a better understanding of each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, we no, know. I agree. So, so I I feel like we're able to have these conversations, and at the end of the day, we can agree or we mm-hmm. can disagree. But at the but we're able to have these conversations where. I don't see any cameras on us. We're not on CNN. Yeah. We're we're not discussing issues. Yeah. You you like what they're doing, and this this just goes back to the media outlets again. They 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 know what they're doing. Yeah. They're 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 pulling people from the extremes and putting them into a situation that's going to create a powder keg. Yeah, you're exactly right. And and it becomes an it, it then then it stops being news and it's and it starts being entertainment that that clip you just shared with me mm-hmm. was much closer to jerry springer than what, <laughs> what it was to the yeah. conversation you and i are having yeah yeah definitely man i i um i i, I would say to those people that are always asking well, where is the outrage for this or i don't see anyone standing up saying that or blah 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 and I, i'm not sure if we covered it if we covered it or said it in the last session Right, but these conversations are happening. These conversations are happening in living rooms, on phones, uh, in, in by water coolers. These conversations are happening among friends where it should be, right, and where it counts. Because what you see in the media, what you see on Facebook, that's not the conversation. That is not the conversation. This is the conversation. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when so you you're beating yourself in the head and, and you're chasing your you're chasing your ass. If you're looking for if you're looking for the status quo to be set by social media and the media, because that is not where you're going to find it at. This is the no. conversation. Well, and it, it's funny you say that because uh, it might have been Thursday or Friday. Mm-hmm. I think it was Friday, uh, kind of after you and I had talked, and you know we were involved in some different group chats or whatever you know, and. I was in that group chat and I was like, "Hey guys, man, you're never gonna believe this." Mm-hmm. Do you remember that? I was at the deli, man. I was working on email. I was getting a bagel in the oh, morning. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was two older guys. They were probably in their fifties, um, you know, blue collar type guys, and um, they were having a conversation, and they were talking about every everything that that was going on, and um, a guy who's kind of sitting, like, so if we're all sitting like in a row right Mm -hmm. so i'm on the left the two guys are sharing a table in between us there's a black gentleman who's kind of like sitting behind us but he can hear the conversation so he like kind of like turns around and starts joining in on this conversation then another gentleman who was at work who happened Mm -hmm. to be there that was of another nationality they all just kind of joined in and they had this conversation and it was interesting to watch each one of them kind of share the share to share their viewpoints. Uh-huh. None of them got ang- none of them got angry. None of them uh, talked over each other. And I mean, yes, they had differences of opinion. Mm-hmm. But at the end of this thing, when it was done, and it was about a ten or a fifteen minute process, these guys like stood up, shook hands, wished each other well, and went about 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 their business. That's like the, I don't that's the conversation. I, I don't think there's enough of that going on. I think it is. I th- I think that I think that we sell well, ourselves okay. short. All right, hang, 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 hang on. Uh-huh. Hang on. Let me let me rephrase that. Okay. It's happening in homes and in places across the country, mm-hmm. but where it should be seen or where it should be visible, it's not being seen. It's not out in front of the media. It's not being publicized that way and I mean and it's good and it's bad. One way it's it, it's really like a grassroots movement and mm-hmm. I think the more often that can happen and the more we try to understand one another and this doesn't even be this doesn't have to be a race a gender a religious conversation just mm-hmm. the more you're able to, to just talk with someone and be able to listen and exchange thoughts and ideas and being able to sympathize with people and being able to be yourself and share with without fear of repercussion like it's a beautiful thing yeah. and there and there needs to be more of it yeah i agree man i i think i think there's plenty of it i think there's plenty of it i just don't think that, yes but you know, but ahead. it's but it's not televised we're yeah but we're, I, don't, I don't think that we should i mean well okay but it's it's not being sensationalized like it's almost like 
as much as there is of that going on because of social media and because of these other outlets are so much louder we're we're allowing that Mm -hmm. to steer the conversation and to steer if you want to call it public opinion that is what's becoming the norm and not the conversations that you and i are talking about so the question is the question that i have for you the question i have for anyone and everyone listening whose fault is that because if that if if that's what's happening if that's what's 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 occurring whose fault is that i i blame us because if if we are if we are allowing like social media the media outlets to set the standard to be the bar if if we are letting if we are allowing them to be the uh opinion setters right then we're allowing these outside sources to tell us what we think and that's what i think that's what we that's we're dangerous that, but yes that's, that's and that's exactly what the you guys remember rage against the machine that's exactly what they were raging against. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the box is telling. Have you guys ever seen like you know? Not not you, not you, Tyler. I'm talking about the guys listening. Have you guys ever seen Brave New World? You know what I'm saying? 1984. These these are the, these are the things that these, these movies were talking about. These books were talking about the the groups, the group Rage Against Machine and other mini motherfuckers. Uh, don't you don't let the box tell you what to think and I think we've, we've put out we've allowed ourselves to fall into a position where we look for the box to tell us what we think when you hear when you have a person saying well where is the outrage and they're not looking for the outrage because they, they obviously aren't looking for the outrage in their neighbor they're not looking for the outrage in in I don't know their co-worker they're looking for the outrage for the young white guy that got killed on Facebook Facebook shouldn't yep. be the determining factor for whether there's outrage or not. You know what I'm saying? So I think that we have to blame ourselves for that and then take a hard look at ourselves and where we've allowed ourselves to come to. Because there's no way in the world these little fucking boxes should be leading us. And that's why, that's why we can find ourselves in a position where so many, because I had this conversation with my cousin last night, as a matter of fact, so many Americans really do believe that their only choice for voting for president is Hillary Clinton, the gangster, you know what I'm saying? or Donald Trump, the wall maker. You know what I'm saying? That's just ludicrous. We're letting, we're allowing these outlets to tell us what we think, man. And they're getting paid to do it. Yeah. That's crazy. sad, dude. That's sad. I don't know if I have anything else for it. I think that, uh, I don't know. What that was, that, that was good. That was a good. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's about it, man. So, uh, anything you want to say in closing or whatever? <sighs> No man, like, to just stay like how. Oh. Don't listen to social media. Do you do your research? Read your articles. Come to your own opinion. Discuss that opinion with other people that you trust or feel have their own opinion or are wiser, older than you are, that are subject matter experts. Come to your own conclusion. Don't listen to 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 what the mass media has to say. And 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 rant, you? Uh, who I got too much to say. Uh, let me, I think I would sum it up by by um saying, you know what, Tyler, I appreciate being able to have this conversation with you, man. I really appreciate that, and I hope that everyone who's listened, if anyone listens, <laughs> I hope that everyone who's listened sees this as an example, and, and not just that we're setting an example, but recognize it recognizes this exa- as example as the same thing that's going on in your area or where, wherever you are if you're having this conversation with your friends people you don't know whatever the case is then the conversation is being had you dig what i'm saying if if you're a young black person and you feel like no one gives a fuck right but you see a guy standing right next to you who gives a fuck you look on the news or whatever and you see people protesting those people give a fuck then someone gives a fuck. Fuck it. If you give a fuck, someone gives a fuck. If you are a young white guy, right? <laughs> and you see a young white guy who's got it killed or gal or whatever, right? And and you want to know, well, who cares? If you care, then someone cares. Tupac always said, each one teach one. You see what I'm saying? So it starts with one person. It starts with you. If if you if you feel like if you if you're in a position where you're looking for like we don't have any leaders. Like I hear it all the time. 
people say, uh, me and my wife had this conversation all the time. Me and my friends, me and my cousins, we had this conversation all the time about um, there are no leaders in the black community. There's no leaders in the black community. Now, I don't think there's no leaders in the black community. You're looking for what, Martin Luther King, maybe? Maybe you're looking for, I don't know, your Huey P. Huey, Huey P. Newton? Right. Here's the difference. Back then, there was no social media. So and back then, Americans as a whole didn't sit on their ass waiting for someone to take them and lead them. They got up and they did something. I don't give a fuck if it was a Ku Klux Klan. They didn't like black folks. They got up and they did. Something. You know what I'm saying? The fucking the Black Panther Party wow. got tired of seeing black people being fucking abused and accosted by police. Right. So they got up and they did something. If you want to see something done, then get up and do something. Don't look for a leader. Be a leader. You know what I'm saying? And then I guarantee you, you will start see the universe will send you what you need. And I'm not talking about be as a leader in the in the ignorant sense of the word and go out and do dumb shit or desperate shit or friend shit like that. Like the um and I hate to say it, but the, the veteran did who who um who killed it who who killed all those Dallas police officers and injured all of those police officers and all of those civilians. Not that kind of shit. That's misled. You know what I'm saying? If you want to make a difference, then you be a man or a woman, you look yourself in the fucking mirror, like Mike, but don't touch no kiss. <laughs> and you go be that fucking leader, man. Stop looking for someone else to take you by your hand and lead you. That that's 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 all I got to say about it, man. You're giving me goosebumps over here, Mickey. Preach. I mean, but it's but it's real though, because I feel like everybody's it's, uh, looking. It everybody's looking for someone to take their hand. We don't. I, I I can't stand when I hear people say, "Oh, we don't have any." And, and it's so I hear it so much that we don't have any leaders. We don't have this. We don't have that. Man, get up and go be it, dog. You know what I'm saying? Get up and go freaking be it. I do have one thing I want to say. I do have one thing I want to say, if if I may. The crap where, um, and this, I don't know, we may differ in, uh, in opinions on this one, Tyler. I don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I see a lot of people, I hear a lot of people saying that um, the protesters are, dis- and this kind of goes to what you were saying earlier uh, with the uh, with the blocking, the the, um, the roads and stuff and the ambulance couldn't get through. And that's, that's truly sad. But I hear a lot of people saying that um, the protesters are, uh, are basically getting it, getting in the way, disrupting things, blah 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 blah, right? And, and making people uncomfortable, blah 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 blah, right? And the name Black Lives Matter makes people uncomfortable, blah 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 blah. Protesting is revolution. Revolution is not supposed to be comfortable because change doesn't come about when you're comfortable. If you're sitting on the couch, you know, eat, eat, drinking Mountain Dew and eating cheese doodles, but you really need to be outside painting your house, guess what? The house is not going to get painted while you're fucking sitting on the couch fucking comfortable, right? If you want to fucking build muscle, you got to go to the gym and tear shit down and put some pain on your body so you can bring about the change. Revolution through all the way through American history and history of the world has never been comfortable for anyone not the people who were doing it not the people who, or the industries or, or the or the empires if you will that it was being done to it's never been comfortable so the idea that the protest that revolution should be made comfortable so you don't have to deal with it in itself is a sad statement because what you're saying is I don't want to be bothered with it that's what that's when when a person says that they're saying I don't want to be bothered with it. so you can go in your little corner and do whatever you do over there and cry about your little friends and black people that got killed we don't want to deal with it you know what i'm saying that when when you when you make that statement then the other side automatically feels like you don't care and and, and you and you add validity to that idea you know what i'm saying so i i, I want people to consider that the next time you stop and and want to say and and want to go so far as to say but do they have to do it like this do they have to do it like that Cause I guarantee you, I guarantee fucking to you, Tyler. How many times have you seen? Uh, remember, remember, um, sometime after um, after 9/11, right? And the Muslims wanted to build mosques in in not too far away from the uh, from Ground Zero in New York, right? Motherfuckers was protesting all over the place. No, it was across the street. Exactly, motherfuckers was protesting all over the place, and I guarantee you that wasn't comfortable. That wasn't comfortable for them. It wasn't comfortable for the people who had to deal with it protest is not revolution is not supposed to be comfortable if the name black life if the name black lives matter offends you or scares you then you should question why am i offended by this why am i afraid of this 
That's what that's what I think. Because if the, when you made that you made that point the other day, as a matter of fact, Tyler, how would I feel if um, white people had a White Lives Matter under the same pretenses? I, I how how I, I I damn well better not feel any negativity about it. I, I damn well not because if you're fighting for your right, it's not supposed to be fucking easy for the people who don't care. It's supposed to get our attention when fucking gay people are fighting for their rights, when they're fucking on parade and shit or, or they're marching or whatever the case is and they're kissing and they're holding hands. It's supposed to make the anti-gay people or get homophobic people uncomfortable. It's supposed to. So I've been preaching for too long. That's all I want to say. Uh, I think that the overall message that me and Tyler have been trying to get out is that we need to be more understanding towards each other and more open towards each other and more open towards different perspectives. Would you agree, Tyler? Do it. No, I, I was just going to say Mickey, man, like I, I, we've been doing this for 20 some odd episodes now. And you know, you could, you could have had this conversation with anybody and I'm glad that I've been able to share, share this with you and, and uh, hopefully our, our listeners will open up some minds a little, little bit and hopefully we, you know, hopefully th- th- this creates some com- conversation. Yeah. Like, once you get done listening to this podcast, hopefully we've stirred something inside of you enough that you want to get up and you want to go have a conversation. You want to go talk to your spouse, your significant other, you, you know, your family members, people at work, whoever it is. But that's how real change is going to come come about. It's from yeah. word of mouth. And it's from people like you, me, and everybody else in, 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 in this world. That's That's where where real change comes from. And, 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 you know, you, 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 you brought up Tupac, man. And like the whole time, all I kept thinking was Bob Marley in my head up, get up, stand up, <laughs> stand up for you. Right. And, and, and it, it's funny, like these songs were, were, you know, Marley was in what seventies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, you know, you had Pac that was in the nineties. Like it, this isn't something that's new. Don't treat this. Like this is a new cultural phenomenon yeah brother yes you may hear about it more because of avenues like social media but the fact of the matter it's gone on it's been going on and enough's enough yeah. of of the killing and it, and and and, I'm, and it doesn't even have to do do Deal, deal with police I'm just talking period man like yeah. it's enough it's enough people killing each other like you don't need it yeah I'm with you there. No matter how angry you get, like taking someone's life is not the not the answer. It is the absolute last measure possible, and that's only if you and you you or your family members are are you know if it becomes a life or death situation. Yeah, man. But even then, like, <sighs> but no, this has been really really good. Yeah, this has been real good, man. I'm I'm happy. I'm glad that we did it like this. Dude. I think it's. I, 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 I don't even you know what Whether people listen to it Or don't listen to it I don't fucking know All I know is I've enjoyed having this conversation with you. I, I feel, Absolutely Yeah I listen, listen to you. I'm still good Alright man I don't want to keep you in trouble bro <laughs> Yeah I'm, I I need to go be Oppressed Yeah me too Me too <laughs> My wife was actually At the door right now As a matter of fact <laughs> Hey have a good night bro uh, Alright man I'll talk to you later